I'm Capers Jones. I'm the president of Capers Jones and Associates, LLC. Um, my main business is collecting data on software projects, both quality and productivity. And I've been doing that for about 40 years. Yeah. I started with IBM in a quality assurance role, measuring the quality of IBM products. And then I also began to measure the quality of IBM customer products. And after about 12 years at IBM, a number of us were invited to move over to ITT to help create a big software engineering lab. And there, I was assistant director of measurement, establishing a corporate measurement program for all of the ITT companies. After leaving ITT, I formed another company, Software Productivity Research, where I began to take some of the information that I had gathered for measurement and put it to use in commercial software cost and quality estimation tools. So um, I ran software productivity research from 1984 until 2000 when I sold it to a larger company and later the employees bought it back. <clears throat> and then I started my own company again, uh, Capers Jones and Associates in uh, Rhode Island in about 2003. And I'm still doing that um, collection of data, but doing it all over the world, the United States, Europe, Asia, pretty much everywhere. And so gathering data and using that data to predict quality and productivity are the main things that I do. My latest book is The Economics of Software Quality from Addison Wesley. And it's the 16th book that I've written over about a 17 year period. This particular book attempts to finally set the record straight on the real cost and the real value of software quality. Because most companies don't measure either productivity or quality very well, there's a false assumption on the part of chief information officers and chief technology officers that quality or improving quality is an added expense that you need to uh, achieve through more testing. But in fact, if you are careful with what you do before testing and introduce inspections and static analysis, you'll discover that you can improve quality significantly and lower costs and lower schedules at the same time. So the book is aimed at top executives and corporations that build large and complex software systems. And the main purpose is to try and introduce a real economic understanding that quality is not added expense, it's added value. There are a lot of books on specific forms of quality, such as system testing or static analysis or inspections. But what my book attempts to do is to take a broad and complete look at over 25 kinds of pre-test defect removal and over 40 kinds of testing defect removal, quantify what it costs to carry out each one of these activities, quantify how many bugs or defects will be found, and then quantify what it will cost to fix those bugs or defects that are not found and are delivered to customers. And then another thing that it attempts to do is to show users the optimal pattern of pre-test defect removal and testing stages that will give them a good combination of high defect removal efficiency, low costs, and short schedules. And I will mention that the U.S. average for removing defects from software before delivery is only 85% which means 15% of all bugs in software get delivered to the users. Well, the first and most important thing is to measure defect removal efficiency and then adopt the technologies that will get you above 95% in total defect removal efficiency before delivery of the software. And the second thing I want people to understand is that software defects originate in more than the source code. We also need to control and measure requirements defects, design defects, structural defects, defects in user documentation, and another kind called bad fixes or secondary defects in the uh, attempts to fix a bug itself. And then the third most important thing that I want users to know or readers to know is that testing by itself is not sufficient to achieve really high levels of quality. 
you need a full combination of defect prevention, pretest defect removal, and testing in order to achieve high quality goals and lower costs at the same time. 